Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I just about stepped on Ruby. She's down there. Anyway, a welcome to today it is Monday for us, and we are back in the swing of homeschool. We got it all going on. I got it. Oh, were you helping her? No, we're pretending Six. to do it. Oh. Sixteen. Okay, Six so. What times four is sixteen? Six times four is not sixteen. <laughs> Good try, though. <laughs> One of the things that I love about homeschool is that the, the program that we're using for homeschool gives Sophie five days for times tables. And I want her to have like a really strong base and really understand it. And she actually does really understand it. But I want her to really have a good ground. Last year, I did times tables. Now I forget them all. Yeah, last year. No, this year she studied it. This year at the beginning of the year she studied them all. She memorized all the times tables. Then we moved on to something different and she forgets most of them. But I yeah, think that's I just repetition and as she gets older and she's just using them all the time. Yeah, you forgot some of them. Yeah, I sometimes forget them. You forgot all of them. All right, so anyway, because um, her program only did it for a week, luckily I can choose that we stay on it and we might do timetables for a month or maybe even for two oh months. God. Gabby did timetables for probably like three months. I'm taller than my mom. And luckily for this girl, I was able to print out this whole huge booklet of all these games oh. and fun ways to do times tables. I want to do that one. You want to do that one? <laughs> all right, Sophie, remember, she's just new to times tables. If something is times zero, what's the answer? Zero. If it's seven times one, what's the answer? Seven. Right, good job. Five. So uh, right now she's learning. She Last week she learned the rules with Mom's times like, by zero and by... <laughs> One, she also did a bunch of timetables, like the two timetables and the five timetable. And that is one of the things I love about homeschool. It's almost like summer, I don't have a coat on. We came outside early today, I'm gonna clean up this mess that is the yard. We need to get it back to normal because we have something so super fun planned for this summer. I'm so super excited to share it with you guys. But the time's not right. It's coming up in the next couple of weeks. We are gonna reveal our secret, super secret plans for what we're doing this summer. But before I do that, we need to talk. I wasn't gonna vlog today at all. There wasn't gonna be a vlog for tomorrow. In fact, I, Sam and I talked about quitting the vlog forever. And that's not something we wanna do. What happened in yesterday's comment section was straight up bullying. It wasn't that you guys had an opinion. It wasn't that you had a really strong opinion. Cause I'm okay with that. It was that you were downright mean about your opinions. It takes a lot for me to get upset about somebody's comment because even if it has a little bit of an edge to it, I can always take all the good stuff from a comment. But when you're mean and you use really hateful words in your opinion, then I can't take you seriously. I feel like when you grossly exaggerate things that happen in our videos and you say really mean, terrible things, I can't take you seriously. I it makes me question everything that you say and the thing that i love about our vlogs the thing that's the most important to me are your comments because you guys have so many amazing things to say in yesterday's video there were so many lies going around people saying crazy things about our barn about our instructor about things we've said in the past on our vlogs that were not true and I've never experienced that on such a mass level in our vlogs before. And we signed up for that. We knew that that kind of stuff was gonna happen. But our barn didn't, our kids didn't. Our friends and our family didn't. And there were a lot of children in our comment section and I don't want that for them. I feel like it's our responsibility to protect them and, and make a safe environment for them. And Yesterday's comment section just was not that way. We value your comments so much, more than you can even know. Well, I'll just start crying if I talk about it. it. It's not your opinion that was hurtful. It was the way they were presented. And um, uh, like I said, I learned so much from everything that you guys say. And I don't want to take that away. I don't want to lose that. Sam was so upset that he wanted to start banning people from our comment section. and. I don't want that either. I just want you guys to know that we're all learning 
we're all growing as people. And I love that you guys want to be a part of us. I just ask that you are careful the way that you say things because sharing our story should not hurt us. Anyway, I am going to take a little bit of time and play with the girls. They are playing Star Stable outside, first time of the year. Like, not so stable. We they, the they are playing like outside for the very first time. Our grass isn't even green yet. Ruby's over there laying on the grass. We still got snow, you guys. We still got snow. Not the very first time. Ending the vlog is more painful to me than the comment section. It's not something I ever want to do. These are our memories. These are our kids. And it's something I want to keep forever. Moving forward, we're going to make changes. We are trying our best with our horse, with our horses. We're doing our best. We're taking in so many, so much information. When something doesn't work, we change it. It just is a process. We need time to process it all and to see what's not working. And I value your opinions. But moving forward, we are gonna make some changes. We are going to delete comments that are said in a very mean way. And I don't mean just like regularly, like like you know, somebody with a strong opinion. I mean like comments where people are, are lying about our bar, lying about our instructor, saying that we said things in the past, things like that. I, I'm, we're gonna start deleting those. Sam says we're gonna ban people from commenting. But for now, I'm just gonna take a rest and go on with life because that's what you do. But I just wanted you guys to know how we feel and how things like that affect us. And how when you say one mean comment, it can snowball and 70 other people can follow behind you and say the same thing. People who don't even know if that, that's their opinion or not. And I just want you to know how it affects us and ask you, beg you to think for a few minutes before you leave your comment and Make sure it's not shaming somebody or saying that we're, they're going to kill their horse because they don't know enough or saying that people aren't going to sell them a horse because we're so abusive. I just want our comment section to be a safe place for everybody who comes here and I want our vlogs to be a happy place for all of you guys and today was not a happy place.